السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear colleagues, uh, friends, sisters and brothers wherever you are, whenever you are good morning, good evening, good afternoon and good day for all of you today's talk or today's discussion with you is about the balance between the role of family in the West and the speed of community speed in the West as well let us talk about the family itself and the importance of the family before we start about the role of the family in the West or in the East. Family is made of two partners, a male and female. And Allah made the relation between both of them mawaddatan wa rahma. Actually, love, mawadda is more than love. Is more than love, is more than love. And mercy. With the man, the man and the woman, the husband and the wife, they have love between both of them as well as mercy. Allah also make them and He made them like a garment or, or like some a covering of the body, very very close, very close. You expose yourself too much, your secrets your uh, uh, philosophy of thinking, your resources, your dreams, your thoughts to one another. There is no barrier between you, one of you. And for me, the family is the most important social building or community building. The most important social block. The most important protective element. The most important educational institution the most important social gathering, the most important social foundation for this generation and generation to come, and the creator of the future generation of the country, of, 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 the, of, this, of this generation and the future generation. That's why Allah stressed on the value of the family, whether you are living in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, based on this kind of close, intimate relationship between uh, 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 intimate relationship between the husband and the wife from one side, as well as the closeness of the secretive or open the secretive secretive box of life and secrets in the in the heart of the man and the wife. This family, without such a family, whether you are in the west, in the east, or the north, or the south, wherever you are, whenever you are, is the foundation of civilization and renaissance. It's the foundation of everything in the life. And the most important institution, civil society institution in the country. If we look at what we need to discuss today, actually how to balance between actually uh, my role as a community worker or my wife's role as a social worker as well as my family, uh, my duty towards my family. We have to have a balance and from the very beginning, the very beginning, the very beginning, we need to uh, base our choice or our relationship between one another on the principles of Islam. If you want to marry young woman, you have to look for one of these four or the four of them. The beauty, the religion, the family, and the wealth. And if the young girl would love to marry a young man, she has to look at his deen, his religion, his values, his character. So between the both of them, is the only condition on the man is his way of life when interpreting the deen and the belief of Islam in himself and in the community. So because I am going to give him my daughter or my sister or my niece or, uh, and, 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 and uh, that's what I'm giving to him. And for the girl, you look at four, one of the four, and most probably Prophet Sallallahu said, choose the one with the deen so you will be having the best choice. So before, before approaching marriage, you have to make the right choice of the right partner. This is number one. Number two, actually, you have to have this kind of social uh, 
commonality with your social status in the society and their social status in society from the family background as well as from the income background as well as from the value-based background and from the religious background. Don't go and marry the one who Prophet ﷺ called it Khadra al -Diman. What was the Khadra al -Diman? Khadra al -Diman, Prophet ﷺ did not uh, like us to marry her because he said that she is the beautiful flower inside the uh, slum or inside the garbage. So don't go and have this one because she will give your children actually the bad habits and the bad moral values of the philosophy of thinking of the community that she is living there. Coming back to this, uh, social work or community work is demanding. Is demanding. Is demanding. It is 24-7. You work 24-7 and more. You work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Friday and everywhere. So if you don't choose the one who believes, the one who believes in your mission, in your message, in your work, while you are a community worker, while you are a humanitarian worker, while, while you are a, a worldly traveler, the, 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 the family relationship will end with divorce and the loss of the future generation to come. The same happened to the, the, the wife. If, if, if the wife is very active socially, very active in the community, and she is a community leader, her husband has to carry the same weight to understand her role, to understand her message, and to help her to help her by supporting her mission, supporting her work, and supporting his actually upbringing of the young children in the house. So this kind of mutual understanding be between the husband and the wife, whether you are in the West or you are in the, in the East, you have to have it at the very beginning. If I give you my example in my own life, uh, maybe Allah give me some success in my life because I have somebody who was the queen of the house and is the queen of the house. She was complimenting my absenteeism from the house itself. And she is looking at the family, looking after the children, looking after the education and others while I am traveling 24-7. This balance between the extrovert and the introvert, the traveler and the one who is sitting behind to look at the, the, the future generation will make you successful. Whether she is the activist in the community or you are the activist in the community. So please, don't choose the one who is outgoing and you are go uh, uh, and, and outgoing at the, at the same time. The role of the individual in the family, which is a husband or wife, is not only to build his own or her own uh, family as the a, as a most important unit, but to build the community. And this is how Islam taught us how to be constructive and construct the, the surrounding, the life of the surrounding around us. This is very, very important for me. This is actually the introduction for what we are going to talk about it. If you call about volunteerism, and my wife is very busy, and she is very liked by the whole community, I have to support her. I have to be with the children. I have to look after the children. I have to look after her success story. A lot of husbands are about doing this. And the same for the, for, for the wife. If the husband is doing this, and she has to understand, she has to understand his absence from the house, from the from house is, is traveling and everything. And this has to be mutual understanding. That's why al-mawadda wa rahma the mercy and the love was the foundation. Then the closeness, when your money is her money, your actually secret is her secret, your uh, future dreams is her future dreams to come together. Without this, brothers and sisters, I do not believe that you'll be able to carry on the mission of volunteerism or the mission of material response, or the mission of, of building society and building community and building the future generation. So, uh, because uh, you are trying to be a role model, how can you be a role model? And this is very important. How can we be a role model when our house is not in order? Our house will never be in order if we are not looking after it. If we are not having this love, and this mutual understanding between one another. If we don't understand the mechanics of the surrounding, if we come to talk about the West especially, the West is a very difficult society to live in because different culture, different values, different, think, uh, different ideology, different philosophy of thinking, uh, different history, uh, different religion, 
uh, different uh, dogma and different of everything. What you like is not what they like. What you believe in is not what they believe in. So you have to prepare the younger generation actually to be able to become a member, a positive member in the society you are living in, as well as actually supporting you in your mission. How is this? You have to have a program for your children, social program, whether you are the husband or the wife, and to complement what you are doing for the society. Your work in the society must include how can you protect and help and upbring your own family. You do not ignore your family because you are going to make a speech or because you are going to build a community. If you can't build your own society, or you say your own family, you cannot build the surrounding community around you. So if we want to become a role model, we have to become a role model in our own houses first by sitting with the children, by talking to the children, by respecting the children, by having this kind of partnership between me and my husband from one side, then me and my family, my in-laws, and my father, my mother, to help me, actually, to help me as a wife, or to help me as a husband, or to help me as a husband and wife from both families. So if we believe in the extended family, and believe that actually, my grandfather, my, my father and my mother from both sides are actually having a role to complement my role. Actually, the aunties, the uncles, the distant relatives and the close relatives, even the friends actually will be able to help me. So when I look after my family and to make it very well protective and dynamic, I have to build all these, all these layers of protection around here, which is the extended family. The respect of the extended family is extremely important, which is the role of the grandparents, the role of the aunties, the role of the uncles, the role of the uh, nieces and nephews and all these kind of things. Those people and the role of your friends and the role of your neighbors. So if for all of them that you have, you and me, have a very good relation with our neighbors, with our relatives, with our, with our, with our uh, friends, with our relatives, with our grandparents and, 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 those people help me as a, as, 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 a, as a community worker to come out, whether I'm the husband or I am the wife. So these are the protective measures which you have to build around us. You have to actually create a social outing program. What do I mean outing? Outing that the children has to go, actually, to be engaged, maybe in scouting, maybe in, 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 in being a member of other groups, so social groups to travel, maybe travel to different countries. Maybe sometimes you can come with me to understand what I'm doing outside and to listen to me. Maybe to help me in my program. Without having this small or, or small program for my children and small program to support my husband and small program my husband supports me so I cannot become a very effective and very dynamic and very successful social and community worker. See, it's uh, the community, social work, as well as humanitarian work, and volunteering is time-consuming. Time-consuming, time-consuming. You might find yourself standing under the, uh, the spotlight, but so what? Where is your children? Where is your wife? Or where is your husband? Or where is your grandchildren? Where are they? They are lost in them because you don't care about them. You have to balance. And the balance comes from the very beginning of choosing the husband and choosing the wife. Don't only depend on the chemistry. You know the chemistry? When a young girl will tell you, oh, his chemistry does not match with my chemistry, okay? And the young boy will say, and the young man will say, oh, her chemistry does not match my chemistry. See, when you look at what kind of chemistry you want, you want a chemistry to build a, 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 a small society, which is the family. What kind of chemistry that you need to build such a society is understanding and is the religion, understanding, belief, is the moral value of the individual, and is the support which comes from the husband to the wife and from the wife to the husband. We have seen a lot of failure or a lot of failing examples from, from very well-known uh, community leaders, very well-known religious leaders, very well-known politicians that actually they lost their children, their children become drug addicts, 
or their children have other problems, unfortunately. And I have seen a lot of this, unfortunately, myself. Because me and my wife, not, I'm, talk, I'm not talking about myself, because, because the man and the woman going out and ignoring the children. And let me tell you something, please, brothers and sisters. Don't give your children to nannies or to caretaker that she looks after them. Whoever sit with our children at home, feed them with their philosophy of thinking. In some countries in the Middle East, they are so proud to teach the children English, 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 English. So, so they get somebody who is not from the religious background, who is not from the cultural background, who is not from the philosophical thinking background, who is not from the value-based background, and because she speaks English, they leave the young children with her, and she will, as, as, a, as, as, as an individual, give them her moral value, her religious values, her philosophy of, her philosophy of thinking, and her culture. And you'll find your children later on are different individuals, totally different from you, because you have been busy making money, busy making future for actually your job, for your career, making delivering a lot of messages which become hollow if your family is failing. If your family is failing, that means that you are not a good leader. You are not a successful leader. You are not a good role model. You are not because the, the, the best role model is the one who looks at his family or her family as well as looking at the greater society. And this balance between the outside and the inside must be complementary done between you, your wife, your relatives, your, grand, your, your father, your mother, your friends, and your uh, uh, neighbors as well. Because a lot of neighbors could be as good as your father and mother and auntie and, 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 and niece and all of this kind of thing. So try to be good in bringing these, these, these protective layers to protect the children and to help you while you are busy, while you are doing this work for the community, so somebody will help you. But please, my sisters and my brothers, do not give your children to somebody who can give them different culture, different values, different, actually, philosophy of thinking, and different belief, unfortunately. And this quite often in the Middle East, you can find the rich woman from certain countries leave the children to these nannies, as well as even in countries, other countries, the, the affluent people in such, such countries will give the children to them. And at the end of the day, she's a successful community worker, but with a lot of uh, lost young children. The children are the future generation. This is what I'm talking about. If we touch the social work, if we touch the humanitarian work, if we touch the voluntary work, we have to balance. And we have from the very beginning choose the wife or the mother who can bring them up because the role of the mother in the family is far more important than the role of the husband in the family because the, fa the, the mother is the bond the mother is the love the mother is the love the mother is the attractive power the magnetic power that's why brothers when you have the the the, the, the young wife for yourself don't only look at the beauty actually or at the, 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 the money that she has, look at her heart, at her deen, at her moral values, at her etiquette, at her manner, as well as her uh, family background to help you. So please, also what you need to do, so I need to, 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 to finish with this. Now we are surrounding by different platform of social media. Isn't it? Different platform. You have to create a different parallel program to get yourself outside the social media atmosphere. Actually, by letting them to engage in sports activity, in camping, actually, in social activities, in access scouting, and in other things. With all these kind of activities, this will expose the young children to other sides of the society and enable them to become very solid, very strong, very, very, very productive individuals. So they can talk to anyone, 
they can connect with anyone, they can communicate with anyone, and they can lead anyone, and they become the leaders. Don't, because if we leave them to the social media, they will be like robots sitting in front of a screen and thinking that actually the whole world is inside this screen. Let me finish by telling you an example from one of the old movies which I saw it in the 70s. It, used to, it was called Being There. Being There was about a young child or young man who went to work as a gardener uh, in, in, in a house of a rich man. And he'd been working for years and years and years. His morning or his day, he used to actually to do the gardening. In the evening, he used to have the dinner actually inside the house as well sitting in front of the uh, television with the screen and with this actually uh, remote control in his hand. Okay, he lived for about 20, 30 years doing this every day. So he thought, he thought, Peter Seller was a, he was a movie star, he thought that the whole world is in between the garden, the small garden in, in the house, as well as the television that he can actually change it with this kind of uh, uh, remote control. What happened later on, the owner of the, di the house died. So the company came to claim the house and they told him, who are you? He said, I live here. They said, who are you? I said, I live here. Who are you? I said, I live here. So he said, okay, fine, sir, out. They kicked him out. He took with him all his old clothes and he was wearing very, very old out of fashion clothes. When the outside world, <coughs> as children in the street, looked at him and said, Strangely, where did this come from? This man come from? Where did this man come from? So they ignored him. You know what he took from the house when he went out? He took the, what do you call it? The remote control, the remote control. And put it in his jacket. And while he was walking and everybody looking at him strangely, he found a handful of young, 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 young people fighting one another. You know what he thought? He thought, this is like the television. He took his remote control and started to do this. To stop them. The children <laughs> stopped fighting one another and they looked at one another and they started to laugh. Where did this man come from? This crazy man come from? And he's still doing this. Huh? 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 You know, if you leave your children to the social media, they will be like Peter Seller movie in the 70s. Don't ever, don't ever and never, forever, leave them alone in front of this screen. Actually, make a program for them out and take from your time, from your social time and from the community time, a day at least to take them out to different activities and evening to be with them to discuss their issues and to, uh, to teach them, to pass the knowledge that you have to them and bring the family, the greater family to home as well as bring them to the greater family. And this is my message to us when we come, not only when we work in the, in the Muslim society, but when we work anywhere, everywhere, with anybody and everybody. Please choose the right partner as a husband, choose the right partner as a uh, wife and look after the future generation. This is your role in this life, brother, Mr. Husband, and sister, Mrs. Wife. This is, for me, is not about the chemistry that actually it clicks you or does not click you or he is not dandy doo doo duck, uh, dandy doo doo dandy or kanky kuku kanky. This dandy doo doo and kanky kuku, it does not work. That's why we found nowadays the young brothers and sisters are having, uh, the young families that we're having nowadays are having a higher rate of divorce than it was before, unfortunately. And some of those great community leaders have families which lost their children. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you in another episode of Out Za Box. Mm -hmm.